morning, beautiful people of God. This is Prophetess Rivers with another word, another message. Today, I want to talk to everyone about using and taking the word of God out of contents because so many people have tucked the word of God out of contents, knowing and unknowing. Have you ever heard that saying, well, only God can judge me? Well, that's what I want to talk about today because if you read in the word of God, Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 through chapter 6, the first verse, uh, that first verse, which is Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 says, judge not and you may not be judged. But then you have to understand when Jesus is talking, he is talking to the disciples and he's talking to other people, telling people how they should conduct and how they should judge people. What the word of God is saying is how are you going to look at what's on, your, on another person's clothes or look at what's in another person's eye without looking at what's in your eye? That's what he is saying. Have you ever heard that saying of um, sweep around your own front yard? Well, that is true. But what the word of God is saying is that if you see something somebody else is doing, then you sweep around their yard and you tell them as well. That's not judging them the way that people try to make it look. Well, only God can judge me. No, baby girl. No, no, man. Only God can put you in heaven or hell. But as us being Christians, we are obligated. It is our duty to sit up there and judge people. Because if you look at that same chapter, verse 24, and it says, He that hearkens to these words, they are wise, and it'll make them be built, and they will build their house on a rock. And then if you go to uh, John chapter 7, verse 24, it says, For you not to judge the person of their appearance, but judge that man and that woman on righteous judgment. So what is that saying? That if I have my stuff together, I'm not saying that I have it all together, because nobody has it all together. But if I know that to be an adultery is to cheat on somebody. That you, your body's supposed to be a holy temple. So you're not supposed to be sitting up there cussing or drinking or let anything foul come out of your mouth. If I know that I'm not doing that, then I have a right to sit up there and tell you, hey, baby girl, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Now, you can get mad all you want, but that's the word of God. So many people will sit up there when they're doing something wrong and sit up there and be like, well, you can't judge me. Who do you think you are? You ain't God. No, get in, your word of, get in the word of God because when you get in the word of God, it tells you don't look at them because of their clothes, but look at the righteousness. And if it's not of God, then you judge that man and that woman. And then it also says in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 4, for us to be ready to preach, for us to be ready to rebuke and to be approved, for us to do these things at all times. So the next time a person sits up there and tells you, you can't judge me, you give them the word of God. But before you give them the word of God, make sure that your walk and your talk is lining up. Because if your walk and your talk is lining up with the word of God, then you can judge that man. You can judge that woman. You can tell them to get it back in order because the Bible also says in the book of Ezekiel, if you see that man and uh, that woman doing ungodly stuff, and if they go out there and they continue to sin and they die in their sin, then that blood is going to be held on you. Their blood will be held on your hands. So what are you going to do? All I'm telling everybody is don't take, before you read the word of God, make sure you read the scripture above it and the scripture under it or take the whole story and read it. But don't just take something out of the word of God and use it the way that you want to use it because you won't be held accountable for, it, accountable for that. You can judge if it's righteous judgment. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and all that you do, give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.